my mind can handle all that goodness. They're so amazing. I just daydream about them sometimes. Hi everybody, it's Emily Rosalie. Welcome to my channel. So today I am filming the 10 indie brands that I want to try to try this year. And I also wanted to share with you why I think indie brands are so awesome and you should maybe give them a try too. I would love to know what your experiences have been and maybe your favorite indie brand is one that I haven't tried yet. So let me know, comment down below. So there's so many reasons to love indie brands. Sometimes they're more affordable, which is wonderful. Um, almost always um, the ones that I've come across have been cruelty free and or vegan, which is awesome because that means the world to me. So I, I really appreciate small brands doing that because I feel like that maybe it would be even harder to accomplish as a small um, brand. Maybe this is going to be controversial, but I don't think so if you have experience trying any brands. But I think that a lot of the time, the quality can be a lot better. Um, and I don't know if that's because, you know, small brands have to kind of be really competitive in order to make it anywhere. So they really step it up. And sometimes they make mainstream band... Main, <laughs> Sometimes they make mainstream brands look bad because they have such amazing quality and I don't think that there's been an indie brand that I have tried as of yet that I didn't love. So I can't wait to try more indie brands this year. And there are a couple things that I already ordered from some brands on the list and I'll tell you which ones those are. And I haven't tried anything and not everything has arrived, but I can't wait until they come and we can do a little swatch party and um, I can't wait. So the first indie brand I want to try this year is Kaleidos. I'm sure you maybe have seen uh, some of their stuff floating around um, because I feel like they're starting to really grow. Um, but I did put in an order for some Kaleido stuff and I am so excited for it to come. Let's see, I got one of their highlighters and I also got one of their Futurism palettes and um, I'll put a little something on the screen so you can get an idea of what it looks like and I just can't wait to play. The formulas look so amazing and I can't believe how affordable they are. I'm already kind of regretting not getting more of them because those little Futurism palettes are pretty affordable and they look really amazing so I wish I had ordered more but um, when it comes in the mail we can swatch, swatch it up and I'm really excited. Uh, next on the list is Juvia's Place and I already got something from Juvia's Place, but I still haven't tried it yet, so I can't wait. The Saharan Blush Volume 2. Ooh, I still got the plastic on it because I haven't tried it yet. I really love pigmented blushes, and when I saw these, I just got really excited. So I can't wait to try this. So, you know, I'm putting it on the list even though I'm for sure going to try it. So it's like kind of already said and done, but I still thought I would talk about them because, um... I've swatched some of their eyeshadows and the pigmentation looks really amazing. So I'm really interested in trying those as well this year. Another brand that I really want to try this year is Cleona. Um, their eyeshadows look so incredible, especially the stained glass collection. I'm sure maybe you've maybe heard of these before. Um, the stained glass collection is multi-chromes. So I already put an order for some of those and it's so frustrating because they go out of stock so fast but I can't wait to get those and do a swatch party because um, if you're not familiar with that a duochrome is like uh, an eyeshadow that has like two colors in it so uh, like if you have a shimmery white that has like a pink shift to it well these ones are multi-chromes. They have three different colors at least that they shift to in different lighting and they're so dimensional and amazing and I cannot wait until they come in the mail so I can do a swatch party for you and I really can't wait to try them and I really really want to order more even though they haven't even 
gotten here yet. I want to order more. I just want them all to be in stock again. So those ones, they're so amazing. I just daydream about them sometimes. I also really want to try Menagerie. Um, I heard that they're also going to be coming out with a new palette soon. I think it's like um, penguin themed. I've seen some little sneak peeks. Um, and I really have heard amazing things about the quality of their shadows and I love that they do um, animal themed palettes. I feel like that is like a straight arrow to my heart. So I really want to try them this year. They just, um, they just spark my interest with all those animal themes and um, really colorful eyeshadows and I'm definitely looking forward to trying them this year. So kind of in uh, similar categories to each other, the um, JD Glow eyeshadows and Sydney Grace eyeshadows. Both of them have really beautiful transformative eyeshadows and I have seen swatches and they look so amazing. They're both um, really starting to become popular brands but always seem to be out of stock sometimes. and. Uh, I would really love to try them. They are a little bit more on the pricier side, but I think they're absolutely worth it. And as far as I know, everything on this list is cruelty free. So I'm not sure what other products that they offer besides the eyeshadows, but the swatches just look so amazing and dimensional and they're definitely on my list this year. Another brand that I want to add to my list this year is Violet Voss. I don't know why I haven't already picked up their eyeshadow palettes. I've swatched them before and they are so amazing. Um, I don't have enough experience with them to uh, to say for sure, but they kind of have the consistency of Urban Decay eyeshadows, at least on my hand. And Urban Decay um, has some of my favorite formula ever. And to see an indie brand come out with uh, quality like that and they offer so much variety as far as color goes and some of their rainbow palettes really are sparking my interest so the next one is Nabla um, I keep hearing this everywhere I keep hearing everybody talk about it and I'm very very intrigued a lot of things that I hear is that sometimes the eyeshadows can either be really amazing or a little bit hit and miss but I've heard really amazing things about their other products like their blushes and their highlighters and um, I think enough people have raved about it that I am very interested in checking them out. The next one of indie brands to try in 2020 is Beauty Bar Baby. I think they have some of the most unique stuff out there. They have... Um, what they call multi-chrome flakes so again like multi-chrome multiple different color shifts in them I don't know why I'm like pointing to the back of my hand like I have a swatch on them like no there's nothing there to see <laughs> um, you know how I, I don't know if you've seen my videos before you might know how much I have love for glitter these glitters are biodegradable and that is so freaking awesome. If we could just get all the brands and all the glitters to be biodegradable, I think that would be so great. I hope that it's a standard that we move towards in the beauty world because I think that's a really awesome idea. And multi-chrome and glitter in the same... I don't know if my mind can handle all that goodness. Tell me what indie brands you are most interested in trying this year, and if you already have, tell me which ones are your favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, really, really appreciate it, and hit that bell so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for being with me today, I really, really appreciate you.